It's great to see you back at EYFS Home uh, for our next Mother's Day activity. Um, at this time of year is spring, so Mother's Day falls in spring and it's lovely in spring. The summer is just around the corner, the sun is shining and it's getting really warm as well. And we see lots and lots of beautiful flowers outside growing. And I thought today that we could make some tissue paper flowers for Mother's Day. And I've got my cup here for a little bit later. I'm going to show you what to do with that. But for our tissue paper flowers, I'll show you what you need first because there's a few little bits and bobs. We've got some card, um, some scissors, I've got some glue, different coloured tissue paper. You can choose whatever colour you want. I've got my felt tips and I've got some straws and some lolly sticks and you can choose whichever you use for those. I've got a cup to draw some circles and I've got some sellotape. So already I've drawn some circles and I've cut out a circle. I'm just going to show you what I did there. Very simple. Just drew around my cup and you can do as many flowers as you want. So I've got four here today them out ready to stick my tissue paper onto now as I said you can use any color tissue paper you want maybe you'd like one red flower one white flower one yellow flower or you could do what I'm going to do and do lots and lots of different colored petals you can take your time cutting out to make them look really, really nice. Back to one side. And then we choose our flower and some tissue paper. Oh, and first, I think we should put all our glue onto the circle. And it doesn't matter which side. So spread your glue around so it covers all of it. And then get your tissue paper and give it a scrunch and stick it on wherever you want onto your flower. You might like to put something in the centre like a button or a gem to make it look really special. I'm just using my tissue paper today to make my flower look really, really nice. I think that's going to be my last one. I've got tissue paper squares but you can rip up larger pieces of tissue paper or crepe paper. And then I need to add my straw or my lolly stick which is going to be the stem. So I'm going to choose the lolly stick first. So turning it over, a little bit of cellophane to secure it. There we have our first tissue paper flower, which I'm now going to bring my cup, which I'm using as a vase, to plop in. Oh, and let's have a go at doing the, the next one. So our glue first, all over. Start scrunching my tissue paper. Of different colours anywhere you want all over the flower Ooh, what are the colours I've got oh I've got a nice purple there and a yellow and in the middle I'm going to put a red It's all stuck down. I'm going to choose a straw this time, so turn it over. A little bit of sellotape to attach it to. And there's my next flower with all its petals and its stem ready to go into my vase. Ooh. Let's do another one. So Let's put our glue all over. I'm 
choosing different colours, some white, beautiful purple, sunshine yellow, some red, oh, I've got an orange, I haven't used orange before. And for the middle, another yellow. All the petals on my flower. And I think I'm going to use a straw again. I think I like that one best because it's a little bit taller, which fits really nicely into my cup, my little vase. and it spins round. So maybe you could do both sides actually. You could put tissue paper on both sides. That would be quite nice. And I probably need a better vase than this. But you could use a cup or maybe a little vase or, um, oh, I don't know, let me think, a little jar that you might have in the house to give your beautiful tissue paper flowers to that very special someone.